future of Vermont is on this call, and our future Congresswoman must be Keisha. Keisha has been lifting up others in Vermont for a whole decade of legislative leadership and more. She has been there with our teachers, with our nurses, with our workers, every step of the way. Keisha knows the complexity of running a healthy business in Vermont. It's not the responsibility to the shareholders that measures success. It's the responsibility to employees and their families through paid family leave and raising the minimum wage. I support her as a parent because I've got two little kids and I know that Keisha is the leader that I want them to see in Vermont as they're growing up. She shows up and she's willing to stand up for what is right. She's an ally to teachers, to state employees, to the trans community, the queer community, the BIPOC community, everyone. She always shows up for the people of Vermont who need representation and a powerful voice for positive change. If the whitest state in the union can send off a person of color as its sole congressional representative, then it will simultaneously send a profound message about our hopes for the union and about our faith in its future. When she becomes the first, she is also determined to not be the last because she knows that we're in this together, that our fights are in this together, and that we have to do this work together. And as I'm seeing in the chat, I'm not the only one. Everything that Keisha has done for the state of Vermont and even for me personally have been so profound that it doesn't matter where or when, I will drop anything I can to make sure that I uh, sing her praises. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Vermont is where we lift each other up as we rise. I took the stories, the hopes, and the dreams of my neighbors to Montpelier at the age of 22. And that armed me for debates and fights where I always remembered to count on my conscience, my constituents, and then my caucus, to advance environmental justice and a renewable energy economy. We've demanded public accountability from police for racial profiling and bias in traffic stops and use of force. We ensured workers got the pensions that were promised to them, advanced immigrant voting rights, and we're making sure all our children are given a fair shot. I fight uphill battles and I never walk away empty handed. I dream big, and I deliver on that promise, no matter how hard the fight. And that's what I'll do for you in Washington. I'm running for Congress to be Vermont's fighter for our working families, our democracy, and our climate. Now is the time to dream and deliver. Because if you can dream it, if you're willing to fight for it, all you need is the people behind you to get it done.